Intel Corporation is an American producer of semiconductor computer circuits. Its headquarters is located in Santa Clara, California. The company was formed from a combination of integrated electronics. It is the world's largest semiconductor chip manufacturer by revenue and the developer of the processors found in most personal computers. This video on Intel Corp's company story will tell how they grew to attain this height. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. Intel was founded by American engineers Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore in July 1968. In contrast to the typical Silicon Valley startups with legendary origins by young founders in unexpected conditions, Intel was founded with $2.5 million in funding from Arthur Rock, the American financier, who came up with the term, venture capitalist. Noyce co-invented silicon integrated circuits in 1959, while he was the general manager of Fairchild Semiconductor, a branch of Fairchild Camera and Instrument. Moore, on the other hand, was the director of research and development at Fairchild Semiconductor. Just after launching Intel, Noyce and Moore recruited additional Fairchild employees, including the Hungarian-born American businessman, Andrew Grove. Noyce, Moore, and Grove were successive chairman and chief executive officer for the first three decades of the company's history. Intel's first products were memory chips, plus the world's first metal oxide semiconductor, 1101, though it did not do so well. However, 1103, a 1 kilobit dynamic random access memory chip, was successful, as it was the first chip to store a noteworthy amount of information. It was first bought by an American technology company, Honeywell Incorporated, in 1970 to replace core storage technology in their computers. Since DROMs were cheaper and used less power than core memory, they rapidly became the standard storage device in computers around the world. After the success with DROM, Intel was made a public company in 1971. In the same year, Intel introduced the erasable programmable read-only memory chip. This was the company's most successful product line until 1985. In 1974, Intel was in control of 82.9% of the drum chip market. However, with the increase in the number of foreign semiconductor companies, the company's market share fell to 1.3% in 1984. By then, Intel had changed its focus from memory chips and concentrated more on the microprocessor business. As a result of this, it produced the 8008 in 1972. This was an 8-bit central processing unit. It also produced the 8088, which was 10 times faster than the 8008 two years later. In 1978, the company built its first 16-bit microprocessor, the 8086. In 1981, the American Computer Manufacturer International Business Machines selected the 16-bit 8088 from Intel as the CPU for its first mass-produced personal computer. Ultimately, Microsoft supplied its Windows operating system to IBM PCs. It was a combination of Windows software and Intel chips called Wintel machines. And they have dominated the market since their inception. Regardless of the many microprocessors Intel had made, the 80386, a 32-bit chip released in 1985, was perhaps the most remarkable. This was the one that the company began to use to make all future microprocessors compatible with older CPUs. Application developers and owners of PC can rest assured that software that works on older Intel computers will run on newer models. After the introduction of the Pentium microprocessor in 1993, Intel discontinued its numbered product naming conventions for brand names for its microprocessors. Intel's business strategy was to make newer microprocessors significantly faster than previous ones. This was to lure buyers to upgrade their PCs. A way to achieve this was to make chips with many a lot more transistors in each device. For example, the 8088 found in the first IBM PC had 29,000 transistors, while the 80386 introduced after four years had 275,000, and the Core 2 Quad revealed in 2008 had more than 800 million transistors. Introduced in 2012, 
The Atanium 9500 had 3 billion 100 million transistors. This increase in the number of transistors became known as Moore's Law, named after the company's co-founder, Gordon Moore. He had in 1965, stated that the number of transistors on a silicon chip would roughly double every year. He later revised it in 1975 to double biannually. Intel's famous technical prowess has not been without its setbacks. Its biggest mistake was the supposed Pentium flaw, where a vague section among the 3.1 million transistors of the Pentium CPU did divisions wrongly. The mathematician, Thomas Nicely of Lynchburg College, in West Virginia, also discovered the error. Initially, Grove, who was then the CEO, resisted the request to recall the product. However, when IBM announced that it would not ship computers with that CPU, they had to make a recall costing Intel $475 million. Though hit by the Pentium fiasco, the collaboration of Intel technology with Microsoft software has continued to knock down the competition. Competing products from a semiconductor company, Advanced Micro Devices, the wireless communications company, Motorola, computer workstation maker, Sun Microsystems, and other companies barely shook Intel's market share. Because of this, the Wintel duo has continued to be accused of being monopolies. play a larger and larger role in the success of our customers with the investments we've been making. That, with that comes a responsibility. 